forward to doing this garden related DIY with you today. I am someone that appreciates an easy DIY. So I'm going to show you two super easy ones that could kind of elevate your garden and maybe give it a different look, especially if you love Victorian, shabby chic, that cottage core aesthetic right now. So we're going to jump into it. You may remember from my last thrift haul, me thrifting all of these incredible tassels. I've picked them up at garage sales, antique malls, and then also from my friend Laura of Honey Pond Vintage. What am I doing with all of these tassels? I saw this uh, interior design magazine and there are some really neat uh, patio umbrellas that had like big beautiful tassels or fringe on them and I, I just fell in love with it. They were so beautiful and I was like, that's what I want in my garden. And then I saw the price tag associated with such beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and my dreams got shattered just a little bit. But you know what, that's the beauty of thrifting and doing DIYs is most things, if you kind of think outside the box and put your own little spin on it, you can kind of create the same look for a fraction of the price. So that's what I'm hoping to do today with these two easy DIYs. I got this patio umbrella on Zoo Lily, and this is a really cool kind of scallop design. I'm gonna be putting this up on our balcony eventually. Uh, this one is vented, so it's really nice if you're in an elevated space, you don't have to worry about your umbrella flying off into the distance, but they also have some really great affordable options at places like Home Depot or Walmart, or even Facebook Marketplace might be another great option for you to find a patio umbrella. So any plain patio umbrella will do. These are curtain tassel tiebacks. You could probably use something like the smaller tassels as well, or maybe like a whole entire fringe border. It kind of just depends on the look that you're going for. You know me, I like a little bit of more is more. So I'm going full on like massive tassel because why not? The other thing that we're gonna be kind of upscaling today is, is it upscaling or ups, it's upcycling, right? Uh, I got this really beautiful iron umbrella stand at the Goodwill when I was thrift shopping years ago and I've had it forever. So we're gonna give that a quick spray paint and do a little bit of faux painting on it to kind of make it look a little bit more higher end. I mentioned but I got this umbrella stand at Goodwill for $4.99 and it's a nice heavy iron one. Uh, our Goodwill seems to get a lot of uh, garden related things so don't forget if you're looking to you know do some spring decor and uh, garden projects on a budget it's another great place for you to to look for things. Come on baby! Golly are we gonna be able to do this? Wow! Where's He-Man when you need him? Ugh. I'm over it. I don't even want to do this anymore. Is this the universe telling me it's not meant to be? Or to keep trying and not give up? Ugh. Okay, I'm over it. You know, I'm normally not one who gives up easy, but that just totally stole the joy from me. So I'm going to try this old can and see if I can get this one open. Ooh, let's use this. What's this gonna be? It's like a little mystery because there's no label on it. Ooh, please be good. Ooh, it's like a copper. Yes, sir. I ain't 
So the umbrella base is done. I did one quick like little coat on the tops of the leaves just to kind of like rich in the color a little bit. And the good thing about doing a paint project during these hot summer months is that they dry super quickly. I'm gonna get the umbrella all set up and now we're gonna do the fun part. What I think I'm gonna actually do, I'm not gonna do any sewing at all. This makes it even easier. You're gonna love me. All right, I brought you on the inside here. What I think I'm gonna do like on the inside of this arm is loop the tie back through here and kind of create like a switch back knot situation. Let's see how that will go. So back, almost like a like a braid, huh? Back and forth. <gasps> oh, genius. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the outside. <laughs> I think I'm onto something. Because as long as these have support, they're not going anywhere and I can take them off easily and just pop the end of the umbrella over. Oh, ooh, I like it, yes. So I put in one end over the bar, put the other end over the bar, so you're like this. And then get your hands ready. We're gonna pull tassel through that side, and then you're gonna pull it through the other side. And the little ends here, I'm gonna try to adjust like right above the actual knots and this is really nice because if you have different lengths of tassels you can kind of adjust accordingly how much you want to show so it looks like all of the other ones i have the knot coming about to the end of the scallop there so it's that easy and then i can take these off you know come winter time and from the outside it looks really really cute see these antique oil lamp parts whenever I go to flea markets and stuff it seems like they're just always around and I was just thinking you know it's they're such beautiful pieces like all of these arms are so gorgeous and there's so much detail in them and I was like really looking at the components of it and I was just thinking man this is going to make for the coolest planter uh, so my friend Laura of Honey Pond Vintage uh, she found this for me and so I'm going to be assembling this today for our planter she has some really cool vintage stuff she's also into Victorian pieces just like me so if you want to check out her shop you can follow along on Instagram and she also has a really great Etsy shop as well uh, so we're going to be putting this together real quick a new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach 
I decided that I'm gonna call this my outdoor woe oasis because when I put it all together, I was like, whoa! <laughs> I think it's so nice. It gets really hot out here uh, in the afternoon because this is west facing here on this side of the house, but we love to come out here and sit by the fountain and be in the garden here. So it'll be kind of nice to have somewhere to lounge and relax. My initial plan was to have this entire uh, set up here up on our balcony, but I'm waiting for my contractor still, he keeps putting it off and putting it off. Sometimes working with contractors can be kind of difficult, especially if you're like me who like, I want it done yesterday, you know, if you get this idea. So I figured, you know, instead of like keeping the umbrella and all these things in storage, I'm like, I'm just gonna set this up here on this patio and enjoy it now, cause why not? So I hope you had fun with this DIY. This umbrella concept was so easy to do and the Victorian hanging planter. I think that has to be one of my very favorites. If I was a vintage reseller doing flea markets still, I feel like I would definitely want to have some of these for sale in my little booth and stuff, just because it was so easy to make. They would also make for wonderful uh, Mother's Day gifts and birthday presents. It was the easiest thing in the world to do. So don't forget when you're at those flea markets to look for those oil, old oil lamp parts because uh, they're, they are so beautiful and they're just perfect for those hanging baskets. So thanks for watching today. I hope you're subscribed so you can watch more videos and you don't miss out on a future one. And I'll see you in the next video.